Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Moleskin Smart Writing Set, which I got as a gift for my wife for my birthday. I've been waiting for a few days now to test this out. So stay tuned and we'll unbox, review, and see how this works. So I received this and I had never heard of it before, but it's something that seems pretty cool. So as you can see from the picture, it is a notebook and an app that I install on my phone where I can write on the notebook and then everything I write in the notebook is gonna transfer to the app. So what's cool about this is it, I'm a person who takes a lot of notes. Um, and oftentimes I take notes and then I forget them or I can't find them again. So this allows me to stay a little bit more organized and potentially allows me to search for anything that I've written in the past that I might need to refer back to. Uh, so let's get to it. I think it comes with one notepad and it comes with one pen. Um, and then you have to install the app to control it. So let's go ahead and box it. Okay, so first, got my knife. I'm gonna cut the seal. This works for either iOS or Android. Naturally mark your ideas as you go, using the tools you already know. So basically a pen and pad and then just do what you normally do and write on the notepad and it automatically transcribes it into the app itself. Uh, it comes with a paper tablet and the Pen Plus. Uh, I don't know if there was a previous version, but it's the Pen Plus. Uh, the good thing is it works with Evernote, it works with iOS, and it works with Android. So let's see how it works. Okay, uh, so nice. Comes protected. Okay, so the first thing uh, is a, no a notebook. Um, and it looks like it's got rounded edges. I guess what I was told is it's supposed to mimic a tablet. So that's why it's got these pages that protrude outside of the notebook cover into a rounded shape so that it resembles a tablet. It does only come with one notebook, but you do have the option to purchase more and with different covers and designs. I think you can also get notebooks with your name monogrammed on them and personalized. Uh, so that's one, the notebook. It comes with a instruction manual that's illustrated and in color, which is nice, and comes in various languages as well as your general standard, as well as your standard product warranty card, which you should fill out just in case you need to replace it. Uh, let's see, it has In addition to that, let's see, you've got your pen. Uh, it's a pretty nice pen, it's pretty hefty. So you've got your moleskin pen. You remove the cap to use it. Um, at the tip is your infrared camera, so it captures everything that you're writing, so it transcribes it to the app. Um, you've got your tip which is removable if you uh, use up all the ink and need to replace it. Um, it's got your charging port, which you plug the USB cable into. It's got your power button at the top. It's a pretty hefty pen, not too bad, not too light, just the right, just the right weight. Um, and you've got your charging cable. And then what's good, it comes with one extra refill. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this puppy out.
Okay, so what's good about this is it's got a band to secure your notebook. Always find this useful. Or keep track of what page you're on. Okay, and of course, again, your standard notebook. Uh, notebook paper with about 173 pages, all with dots on them. And this allows for the pen to track where you're writing. Uh, this. Plenty of pages to last a pretty long time. Um, I heard that these were washable, so if you want to reuse the notebook, you could, but probably more trouble than it's worth and probably easier to just buy another new notebook. Okay. So it's recommended that you charge your pen for about 30 minutes before you first use it. So while it's doing that, we're going to install the app. So to charge the pen, all you have to do is plug the USB cable into the pen top itself and then plug the other end into your outlet. Installing the app is fairly easy. You simply go to the App Store on iOS or the Google Play Store on Android and find the Moleskin Notes app. You then download and open and then follow the instructions which I'll go through in a minute to set everything up. I decided to do a voiceover for the remainder of the video because I noticed I was sniffling a lot during the recording of the video. It's cedar season here in Texas and it's probably the thing I'm most allergic to. So most of my videos for the next month or two will be post recording voiceovers. Once the app is installed, go ahead and open the Moleskin Notes app and select your language. By default, mine was in English. Agree and submit to the terms of use, nothing special here, and then acknowledge the privacy policy. Step one is to register and connect your Pen Plus to the app by pressing the power button at the top end of the pen for three seconds until the light starts flashing. Once that's done and the lights are flashing, click next and place the pen near your device so it can do its thing to search and connect to the pen via Bluetooth. It should connect and install fairly quickly, and will let you know when it's ready for use. Once connected, all you have to do is click the Start Moleskin Notes button in the application and it will take you through a quick configuration walkthrough where you can set a password, which I will skip, as well as calibrate your pen and adjust the sensitivity and pressure. Like most new pens, there's a plastic glue droplet covering the tip that you have to remember to remove before you can actually use the pen. Also at the top of the pen under the ink writing tip is an infrared camera. This catches everything you write and transcribes it to the app. From a configuration standpoint, I just went with the default settings, but you can adjust it however you like. At any time, you have the option to change your pen color and thickness but that change only applies to what you see in the app. In fact, you can set your default and favorite color for the pen and how it appears in the app in case you don't like the black that's set as default. In addition to this, you can edit your content at any time in the app and change colors, styles, and a few other things. And by selecting parts of your content, you can even make post transcribe changes and even additions to your content. If you don't have any previous notebooks, and this is your first time using Moleskin, just like myself, you should just be able to start writing to get started. On a side note, the paper is pretty thick and it feels like it's high quality. It's threaded and has a bunch of pre-printed dots on it. I guess this is for tracking purposes using the pen's infrared camera. The app itself seems pretty responsive, as it's dictating real time as I am writing. As you can see, it transcribes what I'm writing perfectly. The feather pen icon in the top right hand corner of the screen lets you know how much battery and memory your pen has remaining. It also indicates if your pen is connected or not, which is something you'll notice later in this video. The pen occasionally loses connection during my initial use. 
You can always exit out of the current page you're working on to scroll through all the pages you have written. In addition to that, you can also add tags to your pages so that they're easily searchable at, at a later time. You can also keep, store, and go through a number of notebooks. And then there's also an easy to use menu of options to navigate through the application itself. What I find pretty cool is the transcribe feature, which translates any text or notes you take into text, which makes it easier also to share with others. The app also has a feature that allows you to play back anything that you write. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of this is for, but I assume some people will find it a useful feature. The recording feature I like best is the ability to do a voice recording of what you're writing. So you not only get the notes, but the audio as well. You know, for the times that you aren't able to catch everything on paper, or if you need context for something you wrote at a later date. As mentioned before, you can also change your writing color and thickness at any time by clicking on the palette icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If I want to change my ink to the color blue and increase the size of the tip of the pen, I just need to select it and the changes will reflect in the app for everything I write. If for example I want to draw something like this ugly not so good smiley face, you'll see that the color change I selected applies to what you see in the app. And then, if I wanted after the fact, for example, to go into the app, click edit, select the square selection option, and highlight the object or text that I wrote, and wanted to change the color or make edits at any time, I could. This, I think, is a pretty nice feature. While we're at it, this brings me to another clever idea. And as you can see, during this initial use, the pen did lose connection. But anyways, if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it, if you do enjoy this video, to please help me out by clicking the like button. I'd also appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel so you can support me in making more and better videos in the future. And before you say anything, I'm very well aware that I did misspell the word subscribe, but thanks for noticing. The Pen Plus and the Moleskin app is smart enough to know when you're writing on a new page. So when you do flip the page and start writing, the page in the app should also refresh to a new page, which it does a good job of doing. What's nice is, if I was to flip back to a previous page and add or edit the content, the app should also know and reflect any updates or changes that I make to the previous page as well, which it looks like it does with no problems or lag at all. And then, if I decide I want to share my notes that I have taken, all I need to do is put a check on the envelope icon in the top right hand corner of the notebook and the app will automatically compose an email with my note included. This is a really cool feature and makes it so easy to share things. I'm not sure if there's a limit, but I would assume you can do this as many times as you want for as many pages as you want. One thing to note about the Pen Plus. The infrared camera does need to be facing down in order for the app to work properly. If you were to turn it upwards and facing away from the paper, it would not register what you're writing accurately. You can, however, write offline without the app connected, and then once reconnected, because I assume with the pen's memory, it will update anything you have previously written while the app was not connected. 
You also have the ability to output and convert your documents to many different formats, including an image, a PDF, and various Microsoft formats, which is a nice feature to have. And something I find extremely helpful, as someone who takes a lot of notes and then has a hard time finding something specific when going back through old notes, is the search function. It allows you to find specific keywords and phrases and to pinpoint them in specific notes that you made previously. And as mentioned previously, you can purchase and store as many notebooks as you like with prices ranging from $9 to upwards of $40 depending on the material and size of the notebook. If you like the Moleskin Notebook and Pen Plus system, I'll leave a referral link in the comments below where you can purchase your own. I'd say the one thing I don't like about the product is the need to buy additional replacement notebooks. It would be great if there was an actual folding tablet or even a reusable notebook. But hey, they have to continue to make their money somehow. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impression review of the Moleskin Smart Writing Set. If you want to pick one up for yourself, my link is in the description below. As always, thank you for your support and thank you for watching. I'm always trying to think of new ways and working to improve the quality and content of my videos, so please leave me comments and feedback below. And if you enjoyed the content of this video, please support the channel by remembering to click the like button and subscribe. Be sure to also hit the bell button to get notified when I post new content. See you next time!